Over here, in the northeastern quadrant of the broch, we've got this quite well-defined area. It's defined by, again, upright stones um, that are framing a kind of roughly pie-shaped area set against the broch wall. And again, uh, the, the little team of two that are in here are freshening up these floor deposits. And they are, they're cleaning over the floor deposits, freshening them up, bringing them back into a vivid state again. And in so doing, they're reminding us of things that we left off at an earlier stage in the excavation. So I don't know if you can see, but there's these two dome-shaped stones with the domed underside of them facing us. The larger of the two is a saddle quern set on edge, so it's a grinding stone for grinding grain. And next to it is uh, a saddle rubber, which would have been used on the top of that saddle quern. These don't appear to be in a working stance. What they appear to be is set into uh, the, the clean orangey yellow clay floor, a beaten earth floor that was one of the surfaces inside the broch about 2,000 years ago. And that clay floor is largely sterile, other than occasionally we're finding objects placed into that clay floor. And in this case, you've got a pair of uh, saddle quern and saddle quern rubber, it would appear. And they're set on edge. They're not in the working stance or working relationship as such. Um, and, you know, dare I say it, I think what we're looking at are little contributions to the life of this building, maybe of a ritual variety, um, certainly a deposition of a type that's de that we think may be designed to initiate good luck, good fortune, you know, an auspicious um, life for the next stage of this building. So these are deliberately deposited objects.